Yo guys, what is up? Adil here and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some spoilers or all the information that has been confirmed so far. So, if you don't want to know anything about Flash Season 4, I suggest you to click away. So, first of all, let's start with the casting. Neil Sandilands has been actually confirmed as the Devil. He's going to be playing Devil. You might know him. He's been on shows like The Hundred and some other shows. And he isn't really a big actor, but um, and I haven't really seen his performances. But he looks just like the Thinker Devil, and I hope he acts as, as good as well. So a new rogue is actually coming. Like I said before, my Instagram post and her name is blacksmith well her villain name is blacksmith but her actual name is amina black and katy sakoff is going to be playing her in the cw show and she will be making her first appearance in episode 5 of the flash which is called girls night out and now danny trejo will be playing the breacher and the breacher is actually gypsy's dad in the comics and gypsy's dad on the show there has been leaked photos which i have made a video on so you can go check that out as well so danny trejo is a big name actually and if you don't know who he is then i don't know what era you're from but he's really big and i'm really excited to see him act in the flash and to see his chemistry with all of the team i would love to see an argument with him involved and yeah so the elongated man has also been confirmed and he will be making a appearance in episode 4 called elongated journey into the night he's going to be played by hartley so yeah you might know him off another cw show and yeah he's a good actor and i, I think he'd fit the role very well i just think if they're going to do elongated man the cgi needs to be good but it is a cw and they have done good cgi before so yeah so the mechanic who is the Vol's right man, hand, right hand man, uh, well right hand, is actually confirmed for season four. He's going to be helping, well she's going to be helping the Vol. And Kim Angel Brecht is going to be playing her. She's South African and she has been on other shows before as well. A lot of people have actually been casted and a lot of news has been confirmed, which is amazing, which is why this video is going to be long. And I'm just saying this right now, in the first episode, there will be the Samuroids, and I'm not sure about the second or first, like, I'm not sure about this, but I think Peekaboo will be in first episode as well, or second episode, as she was seen in the trailer. And there was actually a new promo out, and we see Barry, and he's running, well, he doesn't run, but he takes his heart off, and he's basically in front of Virus. So let's get on to some other casting news. So there is actually a character in Flash 4 times 3 and her name is Hazard and Hazard and you know her from the comics, you should know her from the comics. She isn't really big 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 villain but she's a decent villain. She's not a small villain as well is she but she has been spotted on the set, sets of Flash and if you watched my previous video um leaked photos you would have seen that. So let's get on to the titles of the first four, ep four, four episodes and the crossover title. So episode one of The Flash season four will be called The Flash Reborn. Which probably got to your, like if you're comic, if you know a lot about DC Comics, it probably got you thinking as well. Episode two will be called Mixed Signals and episode three will be Luck of a Lady. I mean, Luck be a lady. Then episode four, 4 will be Elongated Journey into the Night and episode 5 will be A Girl's Night Out which I'll be telling you more information on later in this video. It's going to be a massive video to be honest as lots of things are confirmed. So let's talk about the crossover now and let's talk about the titles of it as well but let's talk about the titles later. So it's confirmed that Oliver and Felicity will get married in the crossover and crossover is going to be romantic this means felicity is alive obviously obviously she's alive because she's going to get married and also my source told me iris will get married and i'm thinking that it's going to be a double crossover wedding which which i'm not really a fan of because i don't really like romance in the cw because sometimes it can get a bit boring and i know you guys find it boring as well so it's actually a two night crossover with like two shows on one night. 
So the first show will be Supergirl, which is going to be called Greater Foes. Uh, Greater Foes. And the second uh, show, which is going to be live, um, is going to be called Arrow. Well, obviously it's going to be called, called Arrow, but the episode is going to be called Greater Loss. I'm hoping the vote comes soon and not by episode 8 because the crossover is supposed to be episode 8. So the Flash episode is going to be called Greater Threat and the Legends episode is going to be called Greater Menace. So this is some additional information just to let you know and they, they are spoilers as well yeah. So Barry will get his 2024 suit and Wally will be wear Barry's suit but only for like one part. He won't wear it for the rest of the season, he'll only wear it to fight the samurai, so the samurai actually thinks that's a flash fighting him. But then the samurai, he, I think he's gonna find out, and then the samurai, this is confirmed, the samurai will take Iris somewhere. There's actually a leaked video of that, you can go check it out as well in my leaked video. Um, video. <laughs> By the way, Grant Gustin did say at Comic Con he's gonna have a beard, I saw an interview and he said that, and basically he can still have one but damn like he's he just lied about that because we saw like when he first got out of speed force we saw his face and that was in a new promo you can go check that out that was my last latest video the new promo and he didn't have any facial hair at all so i don't know what he was on about he's probably joking but yeah he could still have a beard in it so the CW are bringing in Earth-19 this year and also bringing in another Earth because look at the characters but obviously that's not really true. They can bring in another Earth, it's not actually confirmed. I think they will but I think they're going to focus on Earth-19 as well and the Accelerated Man will return and yeah it's going to be good who he is and what he is. Yeah like it's going to be good whatever I've heard. Some fans will actually like it but some fans might hate it as well. Jay Garrick will return in episode 2 as well, he'll be in episode 2 and Julian Albert will not be in this season. Well he will be in the season but he won't be a regular person, he might be in like 1 episode or 2 episodes or 3 episodes. And also Killer Frost, Caitlyn Frost, no Caitlyn Snow, basically there's no Killer Frost anymore, it's basically Caitlyn Snow mixed with like Killer Frost's like, it's, it's basically Killer Frost but good, so like... I can't explain this, but you can go check out my other video, Caitlin Snow Explained, and you can go, like, see what I said there, and that's what happens in it. So there's no news on Reverse Flash yet, or the Flash Ring, um, and, and Gideon, there's no rules on, no, like, um, rumours or things on Dom as well. No news on none of them, and not that much news on Rebirth as well. But they did say they're not follow following the 2008 or 9 version of Rebirth. It's confirmed that there will be no time travel in Season 4, which I actually wanted time travel. It was a bit more fun for me, and I'm ashamed there's not. And they're, only, they're not having any time travel because it gets confusing for the fans, obviously. With Savitar Business, it, it got confusing, and people kept asking who came first, who came first, and it was a, like... It, like none of it, well, it was like a loop, just say. So in the new promo, we see Wally talking to Nate, and it's really interesting. I want to see if it's a crossover or what. What is it? I want to see. I want to see what show Wally comes to or Nate comes to. Then I'm pretty sure Wally will probably go to Legends for that, but I'm thinking how because the Legends are in a time which is messed up. But yeah, it's going to be fun. Wally on the Legends, yeah, or Nate on the Flash team. That's always going to be fun, isn't it? All the crossovers are fun, apart from the duet. But yeah, so yeah, this is the end of this video. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, please leave a comment below. And yeah, please leave a like and leave a like. Yeah, um, please subscribe. That's it. Peace.